Hello, uh, yes, about that. Deacus had a thought. He... What the heck is that about? Hello guys, and welcome back to some more Hogwarts Legacy. Uh, we are gonna head back to Hogwarts now. It is about time, and uh, yeah, it was interesting, it was fun. Uh, and I guess I can't capture those things, technically. <laughs> Probably. Uh, the, in case you don't know what I'm talking about, they were like the, the dead birds you see when you die or something. Um... I was close to capturing them a lot last uh, video, which was very infuriating, but it's okay. It's okay. Anyway, we're going to head over to Hogwarts, and I guess we can do two things on the way. One is collecting this page, and the other thing is, uh, is doing a Merlin trial. Uh, Crown's Keeper's Tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut as large as, a, as the occupant needs. That's like a little... I, I like how there's a little throw over to, um, to Hagrid. Uh, wait, is that... Oh, that's probably where the Merlin trial needs to be. Speaking of which, Merlin trial where? Over there, okay. I got it, I got it. I know what that means. Merlin trial. Indeed it does, indeed it does. My character knows what's up. Go Noel. Can, can, can I can I pull it instead of pushing it? No. I need to I need to use the, the spell. Uh, there we go. The pulso. <laughs> it destroys stuff. It deserves it. It's okay. And it's gold time. Okay, uh, now that we've done that, it is about time we go into our Hogwarts clothes. Uh, no, ye wait, wait, everything is kind of flipped around now. Uh, so, so this is the classical school robe. And what's with these? These are the, the special ones. And the classical one is one I like the most. That's one I'm going to go for. And here we have the... Oh, everything is just moved around. It's very confusing to me. What is this? This is Silas Vest School Uniform. Perfect Vest School Uniform. Uh, was it... No, it wasn't that one I liked. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> I can't find it now. It was... The... Oh, well, I'm going to go with this one. I don't remember what the other one is. Um, Could be this one. No. Could be this one. But whatever the case may be, I think I'm going to go with this one now. And of course, we take the head off. To be to be nice, okay? To be very nice, we take the head off. And anything else I need to do? Nope, everything seems fine. No challenges or anything? Nope. Alright, back to Hogwarts we go. There we are, there we are. Uh, so, when it comes to quests... Back on the path. We need to go to... Not that one. I mean, I'm level enough. High enough for that one now. Uh, talk to Deke. The, the one with this. There we go. Speak with Sebastian. 
Uh, where is he? He's all the way over there. Okay. Take me to him. Oh no, it's that guy again. The cleaver dude. Why am I going all the way around when he's not even in this area? Maybe the, the waypoint knows something I don't. Yeah, I, I just went in a big circle. What the heck? <laughs> okay. I couldn't just have gone the other way. I, I couldn't... Am I actually... Okay. This one I still don't understand. And I'm probably never gonna understand that one in the game, so... Yeah. Oh, that's good, that's good. Because you're not being bullied anymore. Okay, here we go. Anything to do with the dark heart should be avoided. It's too risky. Anything to do with Salazar Slytherin is worth the risk. I can't agree. And I'll not say a word more. I'm sorry. I won't give up. What were you and Ominous speaking about? He's being ridiculous. Apparently Salazar Slytherin had a secret scriptorium here in Hogwarts. Ominous swears it was used for the dark arts. So he wants nothing to do with it. I reminded him that Anne needs a cure. This scriptorium could hold the answers we need. Um, the dark arts are dangerous, you know. This is right. Meddling in the dark arts is dangerous. There's more to dark magic than people realize. The Gaunts know this better than most. Perhaps I've spoken out of turn. Ominous's family history is personal to him. You don't have to tell me. I understand. You needn't tell me if you don't want to. If I were you, I'd be begging for more details. I am a bit curious, it's not though. That I'm not interested, and you can certainly trust me if you want to tell me anything. Ominous learned dark magic from his parents. Are you familiar with the Cruciatus Curse? I am. Crucio, correct? The Cruciatus Curse, also known as the Torture Curse, inflicts excruciating pain on the victim. Apparently, his parents and older siblings had no qualms about casting us on muggles for sport. Ominous described the sound of the victim's cries as horrific, so the first time he was asked to cast it himself as a child, he couldn't bring himself to do it. As punishment, his family cast it on him. The anguish was so bad that when asked to cast it again, he relented. I have repeatedly assured Ominous that he did what he had to, but he still hasn't forgiven himself. I mean, he had no choice. How horrible. Poor Ominous. He was only a child. He shouldn't blame himself. After that incident, the rift between Ominous and his family only grew. That is until I came along. Every moment he isn't at Hogwarts, he's with us in Feldcroft. Ominous trusts me. And more often than not, he winds up listening to me. I'll remind him of that when I follow up about the scriptorium. Watch for my owl. I'll have news soon enough. Okay. I'll make Ominous understand. He'll change his mind. Understood. So he can teach me the dark arts. That's a little bit crazy. I don't I don't know if you should meddle with that, but you know. If they really want to, who am I to stop them? Okay, so uh, we have a Deek. Okay, Deke, let's speak with me. Well, let's speak with me. Let me speak with you. Were you were you always destroyed? Repair it. I, I I can't fix it, so uh Okay, Deke. 
Now that I have all my gobstones back. Oh no, please, please don't. Just, just, just leave that to to yourself. I'm not gonna mess around with that anymore. <laughs> you do you, kiddo. So many pumpkins. Do you think they actually load everything in, like, season-wise, uh, all at once, but then only decide to show a few things? Do you think that's exactly what's going on here? And why Hogwarts is so heavy on the system? Because that could be the case. <laughs> Try writing a history. Also, could could not be the case. I mean, it, it depends. It depends. Uh, let's go into the rumor requirement and see what um, what Deke wants here. All right, go Deke. Again, I also have my own selfish reasons for going up here. Uh, don't worry, Deke. We will see. Uh, I need to do stuff first, though. Also, I need to do that one. Okay, there we go, and there we go. A lot of potion making. Okay, Deke. Let me go in here and check in the pets really fast. Revelia. Uh, I want to have a space for a certain amount. Or oh, I can have high wing in here too. Species limited? What? What do you mean? Species limit reach. Sell beasts at brood or open space. Uh, but, but I clearly have... Oh, I see. So when it's a species, it means not so different. Okay. The giant purple toad gives me what, actually? Useful in potion making. Everything's all right now. So we're species limited. Uh, what do you give me? Doesn't say anything about what they do. Uh, you give feathers. This one gives what? Nothing. I'm only. I'm not gonna use Caligo, by the way. Uh, only high wing. Oh, high wing is the only one that gives the thing. Fine. Then I'll just add both of them if that's the case. Uh, Nizzles are highly intelligent and have the ability to detect suspicious or distrustful people. We 
the, uh, uh, the moon calf doesn't really give anything, so I will... Wait, no, because I already have a moon calf, apparently. Where, where's the moon calf? Oh, this one. Useful for potion making, it says. Uh, okay. There we go. Uh, and here also needs something. Food. You also need food. I pressed ominous regarding Salazar Slytherin Scriptorium, but my efforts were in vain. Meet me outside the Slytherin common room. We need to talk. Collect. Uh, you need grooming. There we go. What do you need? Nothing. I also don't need anything. Uh, you... You can give me the same feather, though. Yeah. Whoops, sorry. Very sorry. Oh, crap. Wrong, wrong thing. I did not mean to do that. Well, at least I don't care. So, so that's that's a positive. Pushing the wrong spell and that did not go well. At least I split them up a little bit. You know, uh, let's let's crowd it as good for them. Uh, twenty-four hours. What about you? Oh, the kitty. Here you go. That's hero and. Here you go, some more food. And I got a feather again. Nice. Uh, this cave, by the way, is something hidden in here? Oh. I didn't think anything would be hidden in here. I'm gonna chest up top there. Can I fly in here? No. Where does this go? Oh, this is the way I was supposed to take to get up here. Also seems to be something on the other side, so I can go over there and take a look at that. Whoops, sorry about that. Uh, there we go. And for you, we need food. And we got food too. All right, nice. Let's go. Back inside again. And uh, this time, we have a lot of stuff to upgrade. Increases damage with Defendo, increases damage with Crucio. I'm not gonna use Crucio. <laughs> uh, this is 62, this is another one, Bombarda. Uh, decreases damage from Dark Wizard. <laughs> increases damage dealt to cursed targets. All spells. Do I still not have anything else besides that? This summon. 
increased damage from goblins, uh, explosive cruelty too. Oh, these are level three, but this is level four. Or what? Is that how it goes? Imperio. Oh, it's another one of the, the curses, I'm guessing. Damage screen with, with Bombarda, with the, the, the all damage spells. Just go with. Oh, I can't even do that because I need a Diri Call. I also can't upgrade you because I need moon kefir. Okay, so I, I need a moon kefir actually out there to, to get this. Okay, so first and foremost, let's actually get the clothes that's good and put that on us. Uh, so we're going to turn that, put the, turn that off. Uh, mask wise, do I have anything orange here? No, I do not. Hat wise, I do have you. Outfit wise, I have nothing. Uh, cape wise, I have this one. Oh no, I don't mean to. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, this one. No, not that one. Whoops. Uh, this one then. That one, yes. Uh, you. I don't have anything crazy, but I do have something that's better. So why not? Uh, let's go with this one, then we hide it. I think that is most of this stuff. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, with that being said... Let's go ahead and upgrade it now. Actually, the damage with all spells makes more sense, right? I don't know why I, I took that if I can just go... Go damage with all spells increased. Damage of all spells, and the same thing down here. Concentration 1 is what it's called. Concentration 1. And you have that. You don't. You. I need to change you. Damage of all spells, okay. Damage of all spells, damage of all spells, damage of all spells, and damage of all spells. Actually, there's another thing. Uh, this one. Uh, and I needed a moon care for whatever they were called in here to upgrade a certain thing. So I need to change the beast in here a little bit. I don't think I need a nasal actually. So move that to inventory, move that to inventory. Uh, so I add two moon calves here. Both of you. There you go. I like these guys. They're kind of cute. Look at their eyes. Look at that. It's, it's, it's sort of nice. Give me that moon cat fur, thank you. Oh, 
Okay, and uh, with that, maybe I can upgrade down here. This Niesel. I mean, Niesel is going to be useful later on. I mean, Niesel is for level 3, right? I don't have that, though. I need to recall. Okay, I'm going to have to wait until I get that, then. Would like to talk with you when you have a moment. All right, Deke, what would you like to talk about? Uh, hello, Deke. Uh, Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you wanted to tell me more about the loom. Ah, hello. Uh, yes, about that. Deke has had a thought. He... <laughs> What the heck is that about? What is that oh. supposed to be? Oh, seems the room thinks you need more space for your beasts. A as Deke was saying, uh, he's had a thought. Now, Deke knows how you can test the item of clothing that you enhanced in the enchanted loom. And uh, perhaps help an old friend in the process. What do you mean? A house elf named Tobbs works for his master, retrieving leech juice in a cave near Hogwarts. Tobbs' master doesn't let him leave the cave. Indeed, knows the cave is infested with spiders. That sounds awful. Uh -huh. It is. Deke hasn't heard from his friend for a while now. As the item you wove in the loom has an enchantment that might be useful, Deke thought you could test it whilst checking on Tobbs. Uh, I'll find Tobbs. Don't worry about I understand. it. understand. Leave it to me, Deke. I'll find Hobbs for you. Oh, thank you. Please let Deke know what you learn about Deke's old friend. Don't worry, I will, I will. New place for beasts, huh? Oh, wow. Okay. Kind of cool. Well, I will try to see if I can't make any of this make sense. Otherwise, it's going to be weird. Revelio. So maybe it seems like hypocrites really like to hang out near water. So I'll see what I can do here. Because uh, toads. I know, I, since I have toads, I guess I can put them here. I don't know about nifflers, though. I mean, I can, of course, put all of them in here. Just because, why, why not? I mean, I can do that. Uh, so I give... Oh, oh I, never mind. I, I give... I give... I give you stuff. Fan toad. Here you go. Food. I give you food. I give everyone food. No, whoops, sorry. I mean, at least you guys are gonna, like, go everywhere now. Oh, sorry, I did. I hit. I'm not the greatest caretaker, am I? How would that even work? It's a toad. It doesn't have hair. Why are you just laying down? I mean, I guess that's normal. Thank you. Toad warts. Revelia. Okay, you're all the way over here, aren't you? Thank you for that. Uh, food. What are you gonna give me? Destral hair. You got it, you got it, I got you. Uh, you were also got. Now, there's this toad and then that cat up there, I think. I also already got you, okay. Why are these here? <laughs> Always you could use a broom here too. More ice wider eggs, I'm guessing. Huh. 
I also can't ride my creatures, which is a massive loss, by the way. If you have your creatures in here, why not be able to ride them? Like, like that thingy there. Cool, though. Very cool. Alright, well, that is also going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. If you did, consider liking and subscribing. Hope to see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome.